Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I'm really inspired by the colour scheme um, at the top of this ribbon pour. So it's orange, some pink, some bronze. Um, absolutely love the colour scheme. So I'm going to base the pour I'm about to do on that colour scheme. So using only the colours, in there's five colours in the, in the top here. Um, I'm going to do, I've managed to get hold of a longer, thinner canvas. They seem to be really difficult to get hold of unless you're prepared to pay a fortune for them. But I've managed to get hold of some 60 by 30 centimetre canvases. So my plan is to do three ring pours in a row and then just tilt off the edges to create um, a pretty design. Um, so let me show you the colours. These are the colours. I am so excited to use these colours together. I just think they work so, so well. Um, so that it was designed, the colour scheme I put together was designed for a sunset, um, but I just love it. So I've got three Amsterdam colours. I've got light rose, um, Venetian rose and bronze. I've got De La Rowney purple, and then I've got Pebio Studio Acrylics iridescent um, orange yellow. The paints, they're all mixed with PVA glue and water. Um, actually, that's thickened up a little bit. I mixed them about an hour ago. So I make my pouring medium two parts PVA glue to one part water by weight. So I weigh everything. And then I mix paint and pouring medium. So pouring medium, in each pot I've put 100 grams of pouring medium and then 80 grams of paint. The iridescent colours are a little bit thicker as you can see. So I've added more water, but I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more water. Um, it's always a good idea just before you start pouring, just give all the paints another mix and just recheck the consistencies because especially if it's a warm day like it is, the, the water will evaporate so the paints will thicken. So that's a bit too thick for me. Um, and I think that is slightly thick. This I would say is perfect. So it leaves a bit of a trace, but only for a couple of seconds. You've got the mound, but it's but really not too long. So that's the consistency I'm going to match everything to. It's going to be three ring pours. So I've got three cups. These are paper cups, which I got from our scrap, local scrap store. The good thing about these is you can pin, because they're paper you can or card, you can pinch them to create a funnel. So I like to use these, or I've got silicon um, cups, which have got a little lip to it. So it works really well for doing a ring pour. I'm going to go with this order. So I've, I've split up the two iridescent colours. I've split up the two paler colours. So I feel that that's quite a good balance. I'm going to start this end. So the colours I put in first are the colours that will come out last. So the centre of my rings will be this, the Venetian rose and the purple, which are probably my two favourites um, of all of these. Um, I'm going to do a few layers. So I'm just starting off with just a small amount in the bottom of each cup and then so I think my first round of layers will be relatively small but then they'll probably get larger as I as I go up the cup I'm pouring down the side of the cup and the reason I'm doing that is just to prevent the colors mixing they will mix and they will mix as they come out the cup but it just helps the colors just to sit on top of each other at this stage to try and keep them as separate as possible So I think I'm going to probably have two layers of each colour, judging by how I'm pouring this now. I don't always know until I start doing this how, how it's actually going to pan out. Sometimes I do more layers, sometimes less, sometimes just one layer of each colour. So I'm going to pour these one, two, three, and then my plan will be to try and get the outside ones near enough to the edge that I don't have to tilt it this way. All I want to do is tilt it this way and this way if I can. So I create three distinct panels. So I think I'm going to start with the middle one. I think I'm going to start with the middle um, and unlike other pores I'm going to um, 
I will probably move my hand around a little bit, but I'm not going to change, move the canvas. So sometimes I, I pour in this direction, sometimes I pour in this direction. I'm going to do the same for all three. So it's going to be a ring pour. So I'm gonna just go, just go for what I think is probably the centre, uh, which I think is probably there. Right, let's start. It'll be quite messy to start with. I always find it very difficult to get rid good rings to start with until the paint really gets flowing. Just going to take my time in the centre because I want a really neat centre. So I'm just going to finish this really slowly and then really slowly tilt the cup back. So then that drip of paint just gets smaller and smaller until it stops. Wow. So what I didn't do was twist my hand. I just felt actually that the colours were so pretty as they were, I didn't want to twist. So I'm actually really happy so far. Um, so I'm going to go here. Now, what I've got to be careful of is that this, if I do it too close to this puddle, it's just going to push the puddle back this way. And this middle panel is going to get really small and squashed. So I think I might even go for about here. So yeah, but it's a little bit over from the middle. Right, that is right on the edge. Right, let's go going with this one. I'm just going to go for the middle. Right, going off over both edges slightly. Let's give this a good torch. There's lots of bubbles. And then I'm going to put, I think, a little bit of flow extender down. I just held back slightly on the bronze, so I've got a little bit of bronze left. Right, so my plan is just to tip away from me and then towards me. These corners could be a problem, but let's go for it. <laughs> my instinct is to, um, yeah, no, I'm going to the side because I want the corners done. lots of paint on here right let's turn that round because I've actually still got relatively straight lines let's go back the other way to see what happens Wow, I love it, I love it. It's worked. So I've got all my corners covered. 
oh, I love it. This is exactly what I was hoping for. And yet you can see the three distinct puddles. They're not an even size. Well, maybe they are. Where does one puddle finish and the other one start? Now I've got a bronze corner here. I'm not sure if that was because I didn't cover this corner. I think it might be, but I don't think it matters. So I'm just gonna to touch, touch up the edges. I am absolutely over the moon with this painting. The colours are gorgeous together. Um, I think what I'm really happy with is the depth of colour. So um, I often don't like a painting if it's too dark or if it's too light, but this just seems right and there's no white or black in this. So you've got the dark purple and that will darken as it dries, but then you've got really light pinks. So I just feel like it's a really good depth of colour. Um, it's so interesting. You've got such different corners. All four corners are different. So there's the bronze corner that I just dripped the bronze down the edge. Look at those colours, those lines, that sparkle. So pretty. That just looks like wood. Cross section through some wood. Um, beautiful layers. Then this corner is totally different. Straight lines over this corner. Um, and then this corner, again, straight lines but with a change of colour there. And then a really dark purple section there with a lovely orange corner. Um, so if I show you the centre of the pores, you can see why it has to be neat in the centre because it you see it. Because it opens up so much, you see the centre of that pore. It, there's, there's nowhere for it to hide. It's it's so exposed. So there's a funny little line there, but I, that it's it's really neat. I'm happy with that. And then moving on to the next one, again, really neat. I'm really pleased. You just have to take your time. Um, if you make a mistake, you can add a pencil in or something just to give it a swirl, but I'd much rather not do that, make it neat just by with the pouring, with the rings. Um, and then the third one. Um, I don't know if you can see the sparkle at the moment more than the phone, but the whole thing is sparkling. There's that bronze and that orange everywhere. Um, so I cannot wait for this to dry. So here's the dry result. I am absolutely over the moon with it. I love it. Um, it's just got so much depth. It just to me looks like three sort of peaks sticking outwards. Um, let me show you up close. The colours are amazing. It's such a pretty colour scheme. Um, I'll show you how iridescent it is in a minute. Um, just look at the depth there. So you can literally see the folds in the paint. You can see, you can you can see how the paint the cup was poured out just by looking um, at the layering of the paint. Um, yeah, lots of beautiful lines, hundreds of lines in the central sections. I'm really glad in the middle I added a dark and a light colour. So you've got that deep purple, the white, and the pale. Um, so it just gives that wonderful contrast. Um, my only criticism is I've realised that I've got these two corners. Um, I prefer without the corners than with these two corners. And the reason I got those corners is because I stretched it out diagonally. So I poured the paint over the edge and then pulled it back. So that's what creates these little corners. So I'm going to do another one, but without tipping it over the edge, I'm going to put some paper or some sticky tape at the top to stop the paint running off the top so I can keep more, um, more paint on the canvas so I can get the corners covered. Um, let me just show you the shine on this if I can. So you can see up here the beautiful orange. Um, it's just so, so shimmery. And then the pearl white in the middle there. Absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, and then the edges. Uh, just this is what I love about really thick pores, thick paint, is you've just got such solid, thick edges all the way around. Um, so yeah, I'm so, so happy. So let me know what you think. If you have any thoughts, any comments, please do leave me a message below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.